Shoot 'em ups tend to be deterministic score attack games which reward strict memorization, but Twinkle Star Sprites takes the genre in a different direction. Perhaps inspired by the versus mode present in some puzzlers, the goal is much the same, trigger chain explosions which send garbage across to the opponent's side. In this context, the mechanics take on a whole new life, with hazards and attacks regularly crossing from one half of the screen to the other in chaotic combinations. When enough shots get lobbed back and forth, boss attacks can even come into play on top of everything else. Considering the amount of threats on screen at any given time, perhaps it's for the best that the chain system itself is rather simplistic. Popping the right enemy sets off a series of explosions with longer chains generating more garbage. Still, this would make for an underwhelming system if not for the inclusion of bubbles which block chains from happening. This little obstacle rewards patience and precision with the potential for larger chains. There's still a lot to be gained by learning the movements of each pattern, but overall it's a shmup that's more about situational awareness than chasing perfect scores. Satisfaction is derived from beating each opponent, which is a much more immediate goal than climbing a leaderboard. This gives Twinkle Star Sprites a unique appeal, but it's not without pitfalls. Naturally, the introduction of random elements leads to lucky or unlucky streaks, which in this case can be quite extreme. Watching the opponent's playfield allows you to predict when to burst a chain so as to reflect their attacks, but that's not always possible depending on which waves happen to appear. Conversely, sometimes a string of garbage will just haphazardly ignite, leading to an unearned max chain. All of this might be forgivable, except for the AI behaviour. While they're often clever in how they burst chains, their ability to avoid damage is unfortunately inconsistent. Sometimes sending a boss, several special attacks and a heap of garbage results in nothing, whereas a tiny chain can lead to an unexpected victory. The power meter provides each fight with a sense of progression so that hitting chains and reflecting attacks is never truly a waste of time, but the outcome ultimately feels abstracted away from your actions. It's the same sense of artifice which undercuts the single player campaign of many fighting games and occurs for similar reasons. Twinkle Star Sprite's robust versus mode required a roster of player characters which more or less control the same way and are all capable of avoiding damage to the same extent, so that players can engage in a true test of skill against each other. Naturally, such a setup means an AI has to imitate human fallibility by occasionally making mistakes it could obviously avoid. What can be satisfying when sitting across from a human opponent isn't necessarily when the computer plays pretend. Thankfully, this pays off with versus mode where the concept really shines. A surprisingly well fleshed out array of characters each have different shot types and charge attacks which make certain situations easier or more difficult to deal with, but the real differentiator is specials. Each character sends these to their opponent at different angles and with unique behaviours, which means it's not enough to know when an attack is coming, you also have to remember who you're up against. Repeated play will reveal plenty of clever design decisions, which is especially impressive for such an early attempt at such a novel concept. Neutral monsters are unable to bring either player below one hit point, which ensures that novices won't be robbed of a satisfying killing blow against their opponent. Likewise, experts are also accounted for by Grim Reapers which arrive to break stalemates, attempting to end each match in a reasonable time frame. While competitive play is still loaded with random trajectories on garbage and specials, at least both neutral spawns are decided by a shared seed, giving both players a fighting chance. With this in mind, it seems as though there's a kind of first mover disadvantage, since popping a chain before your opponent allows them to reflect your garbage just by popping their own. Not to mention, getting ahead in spawns reveals useful information for the enemy which allows them to anticipate future waves. All in all, it may not be worthy of serious esports attention, but it's more competitively viable than it might seem at first glance. More importantly, its replay value arguably extends beyond that of more traditional shmups because of its unpredictable chaos. This, combined with the immediate goal of beating each opponent, makes Twinkle Star Sprites a shmup that's enjoyable to revisit occasionally for a few versus matches or a quick playthrough of arcade mode. All of this is wrapped up in an endearing, if ultimately unremarkable, presentation. My one quibble with the graphics would be that a modern shmup contrivance of designing the player character in a way which makes their hurt box obvious is missing here, which can be frustrating to deal with against tighter enemy patterns. Apart from that, the graphics fill their role admirably, imbued with some personality, but still simple enough to be easily readable for the most part. Overall, it's less abstract than many cute em ups but with a story which is seemingly just as incomprehensible. The wacky cast and short dialogues really cement this as some weird fusion of versus puzzler and shooter, which goes to show what's possible when genre conventions get discarded, or at least blended. An inspiring little game which retains its sparkle.